What did you learn? What were the lessons learned from your experience? Basically, we can like uh, write a book right now about lots of lessons because it's uh, it's it was almost impossible to do everything because there were from the very beginning from designing it's very hard to work students from architecture with engineering to make like uh, because unfortunately right now we are uh, struggling with and the universities are struggling to pass the individual side to the team side to work in the team and this is like the most uh, competing thing because from the very beginning from with the beginning of school in the first grade we are not well trained to work in teams so this was like a, a great challenge and now we are we are doing everything we can to improve uh, teamwork after that we uh, being a technical house there are a lot of issues on the construction side when you want to do this house which is the Europe's most sustainable house and it's done by students things are getting harder what do you say about uh, going in the first objective after FDN because we became a research center and this is campus hub we wanted to do a, a, a frame with a natural frame let's say intellectual property have you copyrighted or trademarked? Right now we have some different let's say uh, kits uh, first of all passive strategies first of all they are not um, let's say invention of any of let's say invention is that we put it all that, together but that's something so this is our name first of all and we had this uh, first situation when we sold Frispa uh, the owner wanted to reassemble the house with the best companies in town it's because it's in Baku it's not here and after one week we received some calls and said we are not managing to, to assemble the house alone so it's a full-time job but it's not <laughs> First time, the architects are used to, to work during night. And the, in the first morning, we had uh, a building just with glass. With just with glass. <laughs> All the engineers were okay. We're not doing this anymore. <laughs> After this, the architects were back to sleep, and the engineers come with a dome. And the architects say, "Oh my God, you can't live here." So after six months. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's part of all the team. Hope you enjoyed it. I did. Fantastic. So all the guys, come on. What do we have to say? Uh, the energy that the students uh, have been brought to uh, constructing the building, um, and then the, the tremendous success that they've realized. It, it took a lot of effort, it took a lot of money, it took a lot of teamwork, uh, tremendous teamwork. Um, but they were able to pull it off. So I'm seeing here examples of of um, commitment to reduce uh, uh, energy use and improve energy efficiency to make a contribution to the environment. But this is also a, a great example of Romanian innovation and Romanian engineering. And so it's uh, very, very impressive. Who organized the, the visit? Um, my, my colleague, uh, Stephanie Boscano, who uh, works in the embassy on these issues uh, around environment, and climate change, and improving uh, efficiencies and reducing uh, energy use. Uh, something that the, is very important in the United States. Uh, you remember last December in Paris, there was a, 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 world, a global uh, conference organized by the United Nations that set out uh, new uh, standards for, for, for energy use in, in order to reduce uh, the impact on, on the climate. Uh, the United States was a 
major contributor to the success of those negotiations um, and something that uh, my government and my boss, Secretary of State John Kerry, feels very, very strongly about. And he's encouraged uh, uh, me and all American ambassadors to see what we can do to promote energy efficiency and, and uh, a cleaner, more healthy planet uh, wherever we work. What do you recommend to Romanian authorities? Well, take a look at the, at the inspiring example of your, your architectural and engineering students. Uh, they had to work extremely hard to, to organize 125 different companies uh, that contributed uh, to this project uh, and actually to complete it. Um, uh, we use it as a demonstration not only here in, in Romania, um, but also they, they competed the project in, in France uh, two years ago in Versailles. And they, they essentially did this on their own. Um, uh, without uh, government support, they, they had support from the universities, the University of Architecture, the University of uh, uh, Construction Engineering. But I think there's, there's great examples here for, for all of and, and a very positive example for Romania's future.